Adam Lerner, and welcome to this week's Friday Flickr Photo Critique. This week we have a very nice photo set from a person named Mariusz, and pardon me if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly, hailing us from Poland. Um, this photo set is kind of a mix of landscape uh, and some wildlife and such. Um, really nice work. Uh, I think uh, majority was shot 7D, some Canon 450D as well. Uh, Marius has said that he's done a lot of this kind of stuff, but is looking to get more into fashion and or portraits, um, maybe at a wedding. So, you know, it's, it's kind of cool to see that, um, that he's willing to branch out. So we have this windmill here, which is really super pretty sky. And I like that the windmill is silhouetted. I also like that there's this hill that brings your eye into some interest. The one thing I would like to see is if the windmill was skewed just a little bit to the right so this blade wasn't cut off. Um, I'd like to just have a little bit more information on this side of the frame. However, I really do like the tones here and the framing. I think it's very cool. Okay, uh, this I only can imagine is maybe the moon. Um, it's kind of wacky. Uh, I can't really quite figure this one out. Um, I'm going to um, pop over here and uh, see what we can do to figure this one out. And, uh, you know, maybe. Maybe we can get some more information um, because I know that there is some EXIF information, but I noticed that he also gave me some information as well. And you know what? I can't even figure this one out. So you know what? Let's not even try to figure it out. Um, pretty cool. And uh, let's move on. Um, okay, here we go. Very nice. Love the reflection. I love the mist on the water. The tones are really cool. Um, you know, it's just that this shape that this bridge is making now, you know, it really encompasses quite a bit of the frame, really draws your eye in there very nicely. Um, I, you know, I, I don't even mind the blades of grass in the bottom here because this whole, you know, shape kind of rounds off the shape of the bridge reflection. You know, one thing that's really cool about water is that, you know, water... Um, often can stay warmer than air temperature, you know, so that if you get one of those kind of late summer days or fall days where, the, you know, it gets really kind of cool and crisp at night and the water stays warm, you get like that really nice foggy stuff going on there. And uh, he did a great job of capturing it here. So really nice. This is definitely one of my favorites from the set. Excuse me. Now, we've got the same kind of thing. We've got like that foggy thing going on. We've got fishermen. Um, we've got some kind of a serious zoom action going on. Uh, it looks like some folks are, they're all on the shore here. And you know, the way that the light is passing through this fog, I mean, it's, it's a pretty epic shot. And also, I like this bridge. Maybe it's a rail bridge or something like that. It's really super cool. This is when you really, really put on your vision goggles. Vision goggles. I didn't make up that expression, by the way. This is really when you like when you when you see your shot and you go for it. And I really, really think it's super cool. Again, probably my favorite from the set. Okay, let's move on. Another foggy shot. Um, we've got some kind of lookout tower. I'm going to guess it's maybe that's a hunting tower or something of that nature. And, you know, all these muted tones, it's really, really pretty. You know, we've got the right time of day. And that's a really important thing. You know, oftentimes you might see a setting or a scene that you love, but, you know, going to photograph that, particularly with landscape photography, it's so much to do with time of day, so much to do with light, you know, and in this case, not only do we have time of day and light with that, with the, just the nice diffused light and like that kind of goldeny amber light, we've also got the fog, which also acts as a light diffuser and it just softens things up. But we've got the detail of the foliage and we've got layers. Really, really solid, really nice stuff. Okay. Um, well, this is a uh, uh, same kind of shot, and I would guess this would be either driving to or from uh, some of the locations that were being shot. Um, it's kind of it's kind of cool. Uh, I, I, it's not my favorite. I think that we could have framed this one a little bit differently. This building 
doesn't really hold my interest very well. I really like what's going on in this part of the frame. I maybe would have liked to have seen this shot from somewhere else, or maybe if we had shot from the other side and seen that golden light kind of moving up on this roadway here, something of that 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 style as well. I'm also seeing some dots here, and I'm wondering if that's um, sensor dust or something on there. But needless to say, you know, still nicely done, nice exposure, etc. All right, here we've got a duck. Um, and, uh, you know, we've got really sharp focus. Um, we've got that golden light. I'm going to assume that golden light, that golden hour. Um, and, uh, you know, the water almost looks metallic. Um, you know, it's, it's insanely sharp. Oh, maybe too sharp, um, uh, perhaps. And I think it's cool. Um, I want something about this to be a little bit more compelling because to me it's like really solid duck picture, but at the same time, it's a really solid duck picture. This one I think is fantastic. I mean, I, I love this. I love, I love this shot. I mean, it's so solid. The fact that these five are lined up that, you know, he's dead on right here. We've got the full reflections of each of them in the water. Just fantastic. I mean, really great tones. We've got tons of compression going on. Um, you know, real nice isolation from the background. The processing is spot on. Really, really solid stuff. And, you know, this is a nice tender moment. Um, you know, this, you know, if, if he is thinking about getting into wedding photography, this is one of those kind of candid moments that people love. And it's a tender moment. Um, and it, it's very sweet. Um, you've got... Uh, context because we're at a table we see some wine poured you know um, I like this kind of work and I think that if this is what you're looking to do keep doing this and you want to look for those moments get the interactions get those little conversations that people are having you know when they're kind of talking to each other and laughing and stuff like that you know try to find those kind of moments beside just them looking at you and looking at the camera and smiling these kind of things are really special and this is a lot a lot of what wedding couples like Okay, how could you argue with this? We've got a really sweet long exposure done very, very well. Um, beautiful firework explosions in the sky. I really do very much like how the skyline is nicely lit down here. It's kind of got a goldenish glow, which is terrific. And then we fade all the way to black with these beautiful trails, you know, uh, painting into the sky in this brilliant blue and some reds over here. It's a really, really neat shot. Uh, I like the scale of it. Um, I think that, you know, shooting fireworks, if you get it right, in this case, you get it right. And this is really nicely done. So that is going to be it for this particular photo critique, Friday Flickr photo critique. If you want to send me a photo set, please send it to adamlearnerphoto at gmail.com. Uh, make sure your set is cohesive in nature in that, that there is some kind of common thread about you know your subject material or your processing or maybe it's a photo story or something of that nature um, also make sure that you have created a Flickr photo set and or a 500 pix photo set so that not only can we look through it but we can also share the EXIF information with the readers that want to dig a little bit deeper and learn how you took those shots. So again, thank you for submitting a terrific set and I look forward to seeing a lot more from you guys out there. That's it for now and we'll see you soon.